Last Thursday, Cal U took to the ice for an evening called a Cal U Hockey Night in Pittsburgh. CUTV's Clint Logan was on hand at the Consol Energy Center and has more on the story. Growing up, kids only dream about playing in the big leagues. But last Thursday, the Cal U women's and men's hockey teams got a chance to see what it felt like as they took to the ice of Consol Energy Center in Pittsburgh. Playing on this ice in front of friends and family was a dream come true for these players. But it was also a night to remember for fans and alumni as President Angelo Armenti and the Pittsburgh Penguins opened the Cal U Conference Center for the alumni of Cal U. After a speech by Armenti, we got a chance to ask some of the alumni members what they thought about the new conference center. I'm really impressed with this conference center here. When I went to Cal, it was a really small school, and it's just really great to see such a big presence in the console energy arena with the Penguins. I think it's a fantastic partnership. I think it was a wonderful thing for California to do. It ties together so many things for us. It brings the city and the, and the California together, and this is a wonderful venue. It's going to be a great place for our teams to play. The conference center wasn't the only highlight of the night as Tyler Kennedy and Derek Englund of the Pittsburgh Penguins took some time to sign autographs for fans old and young. We were lucky enough to ask them both what they thought about the opportunity the Cal U athletes got to partake in. Oh, it's great. You know, it's always nice when you see two uh, rivalry teams playing against each other, and uh, you know, it should be an exciting game for sure. Oh, yeah, I think it'll be great. You know, uh, not every day you get to play an NHL rink, and uh, you know, uh, especially one like this, it should be a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, they get a win. As fans began pouring in, we got a chance to ask President Armenti and Vice President for Marketing and University Relations, Craig Butzine, what they thought about the Cal U men's and women's hockey team's opportunity. I think this is a very exciting opportunity for our women's hockey team and our men's ice hockey team. Uh, they get to play in a world-class arena. Uh, they get to uh, uh, be watched by uh, family and friends and classmates. Uh, I, I've already met with both teams uh, earlier uh, this evening and I can tell you they are very, very excited to be playing here. Hopefully the players would take away a life experience. This is something when they they came to Cal U that we really didn't promise, but because we're a partner with the Pittsburgh Penguins and it came up in our discussions, uh, they'll have something that you know someday they'll be able to show a tape to their grandchildren and say, "So well, here's the time I got to play in this you know this building." And I think that's really exciting, and it's why uh, we look for things at Cal U and these great partnerships. During the game, fans also got the chance to see the games in club seats and partake in a puck throwing competition. To highlight the night, Cal U alumni and military veteran Patrick McIlvain was honored after being wounded in Afghanistan. After a great turnout by Cal U students, Cal alumni, and hockey fans, the two games at Consol Energy proved to be a great outing for all in attendance. For CUTV News Center at Consol Energy Center, I'm Clinton Logan.